Hello, welcome to Seopolis. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta work on that intro. I don't know what we're gonna do, we always do something different, but here we are back on the mod pack, and as you guys can see behind me, a few things have changed. Now, we haven't done much off camera, but we did change out all of the blue terracotta for the coral stone, we still got the driftwood, um... And we have this chiseled coral stone. I found this block by accident when we were just kind of looking um, right here at the upgrade aquatic uh, mod pack. And that is just stone around a nautilus shell and making this really, really nice block. Um, I was looking at all the different uh, colors. And unfortunately, there's no recipe. There is usage, obviously, for it, but no recipe which is an unfortunate thing. I don't know if it's something that we can find. Or... Yeah, I don't know. So, but the base is looking pretty good. I have replaced all of the blue terracotta with it. We didn't do too much in the way off camera, but I did finish a couple of quests. I finished the Hostile Mobs quest, and we finished... The overworld logs, I got 64 of all these logs, which brings me to here. We did finish all of the, the saplings by sifting some leaves. Uh, most of this we did on camera last episode, and I want to continue that trend, doing things on camera. Uh, we did automate a little bit of dirt, and we did a bunch of sieving. So I have some stone and some andesite and some granite and some diorite ready for today's episode. We also did a little bit of tree leaf chopping. And as you can see, we put in nine sieves here to make our lives a little easier when sifting stuff. We organized our chests after we grew some of the spruce logs and stuff. So we have fishing materials here. We have tools and a few valuables in here i got these from killing the little pirate dudes right here you can kind of see there's like a captain one that's a castaway that's a tnt guy that guy right there he dropped some iron nuggets and he dropped some emeralds um i went over to the bone structure that's over here you guys can see that right over here just to kind of check it out killed that poor little thing and uh yeah when we did that i ran into some mobs up at the surface i did make a boat so that we could swim a little bit but other than that i haven't done much off camera we got this stuff set up here and we left off last time with making our strainers i have since let those go for a little bit obviously we have quite a bit of stuff in here um and speaking of which, I was looking at all these saddles going, these are kind of useless, we're not going to use them in an underwater thing, and I can actually take a pair of shears on a cutting, cutting board, and we can get some iron that way. That's neat. Uh, two iron nuggets per, so that's not a lot, but hey, it is what it is, right? But no, today... We are going to want to continue on with our little backpack quest. And we're going to need some string. We're going to need some leather. We're going to need some more string. And what was the last piece? We're going to need a chest. All right, perfect. Uh, we got our woods in here and then building blocks in this chest here, just finishing out what we did with the chest. So let's go ahead and craft up the backpack. And this is a neat little mod here. I was kind of looking at it off camera. What else goes in here? String. And then the bedroll is a piece of wool. like so sweet this is obviously like a uh on the on the move bed you don't have to carry a bed uh the backpack is basic 
but it does have this little thing right here. So if we look at at sophisticated backpacks, we have these, which are upgrades. We have the upgrade base, and then we have things like pick up. The backpack will pick up items. We can make advanced ones. Um, we can filter items in the backpack. We can magnetize items. There's a feeding upgrade where we can put items in the backpack and it will automatically feed us. It is a pretty neat little mod. <laughs> I love it. So continuing along the quest line here, we're going to get back to this stuff down here. Uh, we're going to make the sea bucks coffee, the potion of water breathing, and then the sponge, I guess we can make. We might as well. Uh, but we do need a book, and for that we're going to need paper. Right? And paper, I believe, we can make with sawdust. And sawdust we get from, I believe, hammering log. Yeah. Yep, wood chippings. Uh, that is a quest down here, and then we can make the cardboard box. Uh, which is just four sawdust, so we might as well just go ahead and do all of this. Bane Miner dude. There we go. Uh, so there is some paper. There is our book. There is our cardboard box, which these things are pretty neat from mechanism. You can use these to click on things uh, like a spawner. Over in here, there was a spawner spawning husks. We can use the cardboard box and right click on it, and then we can use something like a pickaxe, and we can pick it up, and we can move it and relocate it, which is pretty nice. Let's just claim all of our rewards. And... The next thing it wants us to make is this Akashic Tome, which needs a bookshelf, which requires quite a bit more leather than what we have. We have enough to make a bookshelf, and I do believe that we didn't put another strainer down here. Oh, but we have leather. I never cleaned this thing out. Perfect. Yep. Okay. So let us go ahead and make a couple more books, and then we'll make a bookshelf. All right, there's the bookshelf made, and then here is that tome. And this thing says you can put books inside of it. I don't know exactly what it does. Um, doesn't have a uses on it, but that is cool nonetheless. We'll put that guy in there. We'll put the cardboard box in there. And let's grab ourselves some water bottles. And to make the sea buck coffee, we need a sea buck and a bottle. And that makes some sea bucks coffee. Cool. Potion of water breathing. Is going to require some fish, some water bowls, and a water bottle. Where are our bowls? Something like so, and let's go fill these up. All right, water bottle filled, bowls filled, some fish grabbed, and boom, we have a potion of water breathing. I'm going to go ahead and make the sponge on a stick, and we're going to go ahead and make nine of them so that we can craft up the compressed sponge on a stick. It's just a mobile sponge <laughs> that we can use, so that thing's going to be neat. And that completes this whole top side of the quest line. We need to make the crushed stones, which will be really easy. We can make a stone wand, which will be fairly easy, and then, of course, a factory which is going to be a little more uh, difficult. We need to just make some wooden hoppers and some crafting stations. It's no big deal. So this wants us to crush down a piece of each one of these guys. And I do believe that this is how you make a lava in this pack, is with these guys. Not your normal thing. 
perfect. Uh, stone one. Should be a piece of cobblestone. Like so. And what is our final quest? It is the factory, so we need to make ourselves a couple of crafting stations. Which This is a different recipe. It used to be you just take a crafting table and you put it in your crafting table and then you can turn it into a station. But we need to make some patterns, so we need some sticks and we need some wood. Which we have a little bit of that stuff, but... I do know that in the chapter challenges here, we need this quest, which is the all the patterns or more patterns. We need 32 of those. So let us do this. It gives us 15. Let's just go ahead and make all of that into lo or into planks, and then we'll do that. And there is the more patterns quest. So now we need to make one, two, three of you. And then we can set that up there. And now we have three crafting stations. Perfect. And we're completing other quests as well. In the Tinkers thing. Oh, and I did finish this quest out. I made the two item drawer, the four item drawer, and the trim off camera. That's... The only other quest that we did, but we are completing Tinkers here. <laughs> but let's finish out the Wooden Tech quest, which is going to require some wooden hoppers. Pretty easy for us to make, I think. One, two. And then it should be one, two. And then we are going to need some cobblestone. So now we should be able to make the factory. Bam. That completes it. Now, the factory says allows auto, uh, basic auto crafting. Press the red button to set the crafting recipe and then the green button to make it craft, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at this guy. This is our first piece of tech outside of hoppers. Yeah, you put your recipe in here, you hit this, and then it'll craft, and you can unselect and change that as you will. Perfect. Now, this requires an axe, which we don't have one at the moment. Which leads me into the next thing that I want to do. We're going to get into a little bit of basic tinkers here, and then the chapter challenge is we need to make a compressed stone hammer. The hammer requires uh, two cobblestone, so two, four, six, eight, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can make I could have sworn the hammer was that stone hammer. Oh, it's out of regular stone. I messed up. It was out of regular stone, not cobblestone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Click on this bad boy, and boom. Quest completed. All right, that is the chapter challenge. We have the chapter challenge complete, so that allows allows you to chisel blocks into others. So we got a chisel station and then some factory blocks. Oh, these are science blocks and these are yellow hazard blocks. Oh, this is from the chiseled mod. That is pretty neat. Cool. All right, well, we need to clean out the inventory here of a bunch of junk and then get prepped for the little bit of tinkers that we're going to do today. 
Now with the backpack, just like anything else in modded, we can put this into our um, bobbles slots here. And then we now are wearing the backpack, all stylish. And it, if you press a certain key, which by default it is B, but B opens up the waypoints. So I changed it to I, which will open up the backpack and we can go ahead and do all of the different things. Now I forgot to mention, <clears throat> But at Sophisticated Backpacks, the reason we're not going to get into these is they require iron. And then any of these things like the feeding upgrade is going to require some stuff that we haven't quite gotten into like gold. <laughs> so that's out of our reach for now. But the neat thing is we do have a backpack. Now one thing that we can do is we can take our backpack and dye it a different color. So I think, how do we do this? <laughs> oh, we've got to turn that into black dye and then, is the shapeless? It is, there we go. Uh, that does not look like that. Oh. oh, 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 look at that. We can change different aspects of the backpack. That's neat. So this changes the leather straps right here, whereas this changes it to a full black backpack. Now, I'm curious if I had some red dye, which I don't think we can actually get. Ah, uh, we need beetroot or some flowers. Nope, we don't have any other. We do have blue, though, don't we? Didn't we get some lapis? No. We got emeralds. Well, darn. But I guess we could change this guy to a different color, so that is pretty neat. We'll go ahead and put that guy back there, and now we're styling even more. That's <laughs> so cool. All right, so now we have completed a few quests, and it is time to move to the last thing under the welcome tab, which is tinkers. We need to make a part chest, a part builder and a tinker station. Now recipes for tinkers have um, changed a little bit. The patterns, this recipe hasn't changed, but you get three patterns now instead of, I believe it was only two or maybe it was four, I don't know. But the stations here, like the tinker station requires blank patterns and for wood, I believe that the tinker station used to be just a plank and some wood. Um, the part builder, was a pattern and a log so we definitely need to do a little bit of research which i've already done <laughs> uh, but there is a tinker station and then a part builder should be this guy aha uh -huh. and then we need a pattern chest which used to be this but that is not the case now so uh is it the part chest it is a parts chest. Wow. Requires a lot more stuff. Cool. So we're going to take our stuff and we're going to place it somewhere. I think I think here might be a good place. We'll put the part chest there. We'll put the tinker station there and then the part builder here. Now we can make some simple things like an axe and a pickaxe and a sword. Right now we're using just basic Minecraft tools and I think it would be better for us to go ahead and make new things. Now the part builder, uh, we need one more thing, right? First basic tool, we, it wants us to make a wooden tool handle, a pickaxe head, and a tool binding. Um, but I believe that we need something else. The stencil table, I think, is what it's called. No? Tinker Station? We made these, right? How do we make the pickaxe head? Ah, we can mold it. <laughs> Which we will be getting into. Um, 
modifier chest, crafting station, tinker station, part builder, crafting station, part chest, and then to make a materials in you book, which we already have. Let's go ahead and grab that. Which is this guy right here. Maybe it will tell us a little bit more about it. Introduction. So in the part builder... Ah, okay, okay. This is all different, all new to me. In the part builder, we put our patterns, and then here we can make the different things. Um, So we're going to need a pickaxe head. Well, it wants us to make wood, right? So let's go ahead and make a pickaxe head. We need the binder or binding, and then we need a tool handle. There we go. And then it wants us to make a stone pickaxe head, so we should probably go ahead and grab some cobblestone. And if we take you out, put you in, and this, boom, chapter complete. Nice. So the nice thing about this, then, is we can go in here, we can put all of this together, and... It's being silly. There we go. So this pickaxe is better than this pickaxe because it has a few things on it, like cultivated. Uh, if we put this guy back up in here, uh, I guess we can't see it, but cultivated, piercing, and stone bound. And then the other thing is we can always repair it inside here with some stone as opposed to having to make a completely new pickaxe. Once this thing breaks, it doesn't go anywhere. So kind of renders this tool obsolete. Uh, we actually don't need the stone sword on us right now, and we should deposit our sea bucks, which we got 83 of. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and drink this um, coffee here, and why? It gives me a buff. It gives me speed. 10. <laughs> okay, so Tinker somewhere. Tinker Station. Aha, we pinned that. Last mod pack that we did, we were playing um, Sky Bees, and I pinned one of these, and it was up for so many episodes with the thing right here. And we <laughs> I did not know how to clear it out. Cool. So that is the beginnings of Tinkers. We are now done with Welcome to the Sea. So moving on up is where we're heading, and this is Tech Teching it up. We get into ceramics and then more tinkers, which is cool. So I think what we want to do today is make at least the furnace. And then we'll come back probably in the next episode and continue these quest lines down. So we need some compressed cobblestone. We need three of those and then some regular cobblestone. These are just, as you saw before, nine cobblestone. So we are going to need something like 27 cobblestone. Actually, uh, smash down, and then we're going to need the remainder of our cobblestone, which is over there. And uh, we could use our builder's wand to place these guys. But yeah, <laughs> we're going to need to smash this stuff. And I think we can use our compressed hammer. Not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. I think that guy only works on, like, compressed blocks, whereas this guy... Works on all the blocks. We'll take these guys. Boom. Three compressed cobblestone. We will grab half of the cobblestone out of here. We will go ahead and craft this bad boy up. And boom. We finally have a furnace. <laughs> so as you guys would have noticed by now. We have been pretty much running through this game. On a slower pace. Typically, when I get into these mod packs, I have a tendency to just start crafting and start grinding, and then next thing you know, 10 episodes later, the series is over, because that's what I do. <laughs> so, I'm trying to go through these quests a little more on camera, and we're gonna do things like crafting all the way through this stuff on camera. There are gonna be times when we cut, of course, to do some of the grindy grindy tasks, but for now, yeah, we're, we're doing it. And I think, hmm, 
I guess we'll utilize this space here. Now let's see. Real quick, how do we make charcoal? Log smelted in a furnace make charcoal. Okay. So that is a pretty standard crafting recipe, right? Let's go ahead and throw in a little bit of planks here. We'll get our first piece of charcoal and then we'll recycle it into here. We need to make sure that we do this so we get the quest and then put it in here. All right, so the quest is complete. And what I want is some charcoal so we can start smelting up some of this fish. It would be nice to put this guy in the furnace and have some actual food as opposed to running around eating apples. And as a matter of fact, I believe that we can smelt the apples. Ah, this is an even better food. Hmm, okay. And we have a stack and a bit. So yeah, let's, let's do that. We're going to go ahead and smelt up some charcoal. We're going to smelt up some apples, and we're going to be ready to go um, for the next episode. Uh, let's go ahead and throw away some tools that we don't need. We don't need the bedroll, actually. We will go ahead and put that in the backpack. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So, as this sits right now, I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. That's two episodes down. Quite a bit of questing done. Next time coming back, we're going to get into more of tinker's construct and i ooh botany pots we're gonna get into some clay i think we start getting into some basic automation eventually oh looks like we got seagrass so we could actually do some farming maybe we'll do that i'm not sure ceramics is gonna take us down a line which i believe is gonna get us clay and then at that time we can get the botany pots and we no longer have to grow trees so as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is going to run a little bit long. I do apologize for that, but we're doing everything on camera. If you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did playing, then please make sure to hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when videos like this come out. Check the description down below for all of the different ways to follow me, and I will see you guys next.